fish here in the Bay Area, so they do have a lot of predators. Everything here in the Bay eats these. Whenever a predator must, wants to eat it, they must eat it head first, that way those pins lay flat. They eat it tail first, they lock up, they pound the predator's mouth, and they eventually they have to spit it out, and you'll be able to swim away. Now, whenever you go fishing, and you feel that good tug, you reel it in, you have no bait, no fish, or they're the main cause of it, and you can see, their mouth is a little small, so it doesn't really fit around the hook, so they're the perfect bait stealers. You don't want to fish anywhere near pinfish. And since pinfish only get about five to six inches long, if you do manage to catch one, you can't really eat them since they're real small. Now, pinfish like to live in shallow waters and around structures, so the bay is a perfect environment for them. The average depth of the whole bay is only about three and a half feet, so a lot of pinfish live in this area. Now, what pinfish are good for, they are a good source of bait if you like to go deep sea fishing. Like I said, they have a lot of predators, and a lot of those predators are the bigger game fish, like tarpon, kobe, and groupers. So if you want to go deep sea fishing out in the Gulf, and catch those bigger game fish, you can use pinfish as your game, as your bait.